In automation technology, things have moved away from centralized and towards decentralized applications. Distributed applications are now the trend of the day. In the past, central controllers with point-to-point -point connections to the field devices were replaced by decentralized structures consisting of programmable controllers and field bus systems such as Profibus. As Ethernet made its way from company and production management level down to process control level, and now, thanks to Profinet, as far as field level, today's vertical integration of distributed automation systems became possible. Distributed systems have allowed the network to become an autonomous and essential component of automation technology. This increased use of Ethernet, network number one worldwide, offers vast productivity potentials to companies today and tomorrow. A common network infrastructure in production and office not only saves costs thanks to standardized data networks, but also allows consistent access to all hierarchy levels of a production business. Ethernet and IT have an enormous potential for openness and innovation, which is driven forward by a large number of suppliers in the market, all for the benefit of the end user. Compared to office applications, however, automation technology demands some quite new qualities of networks and their components. Because of the often harsh industrial environments in which they are used, active and passive network components have to measure up to stringent requirements, such as compact space-saving layout, rugged industrial design, installation outside control cabinets, universal installation and wiring suitable for industrial use, etc. The data produced in an automation network consists mainly of small data packets, most of which return cyclically. They usually require guaranteed response times and real-time behavior. Industrial networks are to a large extent chosen under cost aspects, because in terms of costing they are always part of the machine or plant. To ensure investment protection, they must also be compatible with existing field bus systems. There must be a well-coordinated security concept with selective control of access to the entire network or to individual automation cells. Wireless solution concepts must be integrated. The trend for communication and automation systems to merge more and more must be reflected by the integration of both areas into one engineering system. Installation, parameterization and diagnostics must be possible without expert knowledge. The topology of an industrial communication network is determined on the one hand by the plant or machine structure and, on the other hand, by the requirement of easy, flexible expandability. In the following scenes, we will present you the standard topologies used in automation technology.